Let me take you back for a moment to IM Katowice. You were coming in later and nobody really knew where you were standing as a team. How crazy has this first half of the year been for you? Oh, I think I've said it many times. The first half of this year, it's just, it's, there's no words to describe the, the feeling and the moments we've gone through with the team. Yeah, starting out with Katowice, I was I had COVID. We couldn't even probably play with me there. And then I suddenly returned to the lineup and then Rain had COVID. So it was a lot of on and off back then. But um, yeah, we've just made the best out of it and proven we're the best team in the world uh, for this part of the year. So I think I'm extremely proud of everyone. And it's uh, just goes to say that it's be how hard we work as well. And what does it mean to come into the Lanxys Arena being in that position, like one of the best teams, well, reigning major champs? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, securing the semis now in Stasalis here is uh, definitely a confidence boost for us. We've been, uh, I'm not to say a bit slacking uh, lately, but we just uh, haven't been at, at our best level, maybe. We're always putting in the most work we can, so there's no, no question of that. But yeah, getting that semi, semi spot straight off and just uh, Playing like the best team in the world is giving us a good boost and keeping us in, in, in believing that we can achieve the trophy here. And uh, yeah, gonna be hyped for, for Langsas. It's personally my first time there, so um, gonna be excited. Um, and as you may have noticed, Liquid just beat Furia. That means the majority of the top 10 teams, besides you and Navi, are actually out. Um, are we entering the new, like, most competitive time in CSGO, or do you think there's another reason for that? I think CS is just so so um, developed by now. Like everyone in the top 20 can can I would say beat each other on a, on a, on a good day. Um, everyone everyone is searching for the last percentages, playing to the last of inches and margins. So um, yeah, I think everyone is just so good nowadays that you really have to. I don't know, find some find some good anti or um, uh, prepare extremely well in order to have like I got kind of an edge, I guess. But yeah, I mean, if if it's anyone's day, then anyone can beat each other in a top level. And as you say that, lastly, we're going into the the, the playoffs, and you've got five days of uh, of a break. Is there anything as a team you're going to target specifically before going into those? I think during this break between the playoffs, we're definitely gonna we're gonna practice. That's for sure. Um, we're probably gonna look over the games we've had so far in in Cologne here. Um, maybe. Uh, probably get the team speak recordings, go over the communication and try to fix as many things we can there because we, we can always improve in communication. It's kind of tough in an international lineup. So I've always tried to do our, our most work in that category. And um, yeah, just, I guess, uh, loosen up a bit. It's been a bit uh, definitely tough year for everyone so far. And we've played at every tournament and gone deep in every tournament. So we've been on the road for a long time and yeah, just gonna enjoy the moment that's in Langsus.